So the answer is all of the above. And the reason is when we're testing something like an operating system kernel, we want to test it basically with all possible values of the parameters to the calls that it supports. And it turns out that there's a really good reason for this. The operating system boundary is a trust boundary. On one side of the operating system boundary, we have us. We're the kernel implementers, and our job is to keep the machine running, to provide isolation between users, and basically to enforce all of the security policies that operating systems are designed to enforce. On the other side of the boundary, we have them. These are our users. And our users might not actually be malicious. They might only be writing buggy codes. But the point is, regardless of whether the users of the operating system are malicious or just writing buggy codes, they're going to invoke system calls like read with crazy arguments, with all sorts of invalid arguments, and it better not be the case that the operating system malfunctions when this happens. Therefore, if we're testing the operating system interface, we really, really, really need to be making issuing calls like read with garbage.